All right, here we go. Question number 10 in our college algebra, homework number seven in my lab math. We have another application problem that involves exponential decay. Uh, here they give me some data, the percent of adults who are married. It says that that percent is decreasing. And the very first thing they want me to find is K, which is the decay rate. Now, the way I understand it, K is negative when you have decay, and K is positive when you have growth. And so I wanted to point out that this problem has a little pitfall that, that I wanted to warn you about, and I didn't find this out until I went to the question help and clicked on view an example. So when they explain how to do this problem, it says first <clears throat> give the initial amount, the time that it takes to the next amount, and if you keep going right here, this formula, notice that they already have a negative in front of the K. So they're saying that uh, the standard model for a decay, and they have the negative there already. Now the reason that's important is if you keep going and solve for K, that's going to actually give you a positive value, okay? So the reason that they don't want a negative value is because of the way that they establish their initial formula. Okay, so just understand that when we calculate this value of K, in my opinion, it should be negative, but it's going to need a positive, again, based on the way they work it out. So here we go, up in this window, we're going to show how to get that value of K. So what does it say? It says use the data for 1960. So in 1960, there were 79.4% married adults. And in 2012, there were 45.5 married adults. And so what we're going to need to know is we're going to need to know how much time does it take to go from 1960 to 2012. The 79.4, that's going to be our initial amount. The 45.5 is going to be our uh, amount remaining after this certain amount of time. All right, so here we go with the handy-dandy calculator if you need to. We're going to take 2012 minus 1960. That's going to give us 52 years that it takes to get to 45.5% remaining. All right, so here we go. Again, in my opinion, the model should be A of T equals A naught E to the KT. But the way they describe it, they have the negative here already. And so we're going to end up with a positive value. All right, so here we go. Plugging in A naught is the 79.4. E to the negative K. Remember, K is what we're looking for. And the time, it says in 52 years, we will get down to 45.5 remaining. And then we can solve this exponential equation for k. So we're going to need to get rid of the coefficient of e first. We're going to divide both sides by 79.4. And that will give us e to the negative 52k. Notice that I can rewrite that as negative 52k. And then we're going to need to bring up our handy dandy calculator. And we're going to need to figure out 45.5 divided by 79.4. And my calculator gives that as a reduced fraction. And I am going to use that to avoid any intermediate round off error. 455 divided by 794. That keeps everything exact up until the last minute. 
Now the next step is we're going to convert from an exponential to a log equation. So we're going to bring the base down. That's going to make it log base e, which remember is natural log. Okay, bring the base down, switch the other two around. So the negative 52k goes here. The 455 over 794 goes here. And at this point, I can divide by negative 52 on both sides, and that'll get k by itself. All right, so again, here we go with the handy-dandy calculator. And with my calculator, since this is already on the screen, I'm going to hit LN, uh, and I'm going to say answer to use the previous answer, divided by negative 52. So that's going to give us 0 0.01, and they want us to round to four decimal places, 0, 0,1, 0, 0,7. And I can't help but <laughs> keep reminding you, K, in my opinion, should be negative because it's a decay problem. But my lab math wants it positive. There you go. Now then, write an exponential function that describes the percent of adults married after T time, where T is the number of years after 1960. And that's important because that tells us the initial amount, which goes here. So the initial amount will be 79.4, since they tell us after 1960. And now we know K, <laughs> and now it's going to be negative, negative point zero one zero seven. I don't really need that leading zero there, but I can put it if I feel like it. And do you see it needed the negative there because now that's the formula. That's got to be negative in the formula if it's decay. So now that we have a, a model, a formula, we can now actually plug in some numbers for t and uh, make some predictions. So for part b, it wants to figure out how many adults will be married, what percent of adults will be married in 2015. Okay, so remember we started counting in 1960. So if we do 2015 minus 1960, that'll tell us an amount of years after 1960. And that's going to be 2015 minus 1960, 55 years. And so we're going to come over here and we're going to plug in 55 for T. We're going to calculate M of 55. That's going to be 79.4 E to the negative 0 0.0107 times 55. And to calculate that value, we're going to need a calculator. Clear. So 79.4 shift ln for e to the negative 0 0.0107 and I'm going to say times 55 again you could put the parentheses here if you feel like it and so that's going to say 44 what do they want us to round to one decimal place so that's going to be 44.1 percent of adults married in 2015. And I don't need to put the percent symbol because it's already there. Okay, and then for 2018. All right, so this is uh, still for part B. Okay, so let's think about this. 2015 meant that time was 55. So three years later would be 58 years. 
So now we're going to calculate M of 58 because 2018 is three years after 2015, and then three years after uh, 55 would be 58. 79.4 e to the negative 0 0.0107 times 58. And we're going to need to calculate that with our handy-dandy calculator. And thank God I have the class whiz. I can just back up, hit delete, and 8. I don't have to type the whole thing over again. Rounded to the nearest one decimal place, that 6 is going to become a 7. So that will be 42.7% of adults married in 2018. Okay, at this decay rate in which year, okay, so that means we're looking for time, will the percent of adults who are married be 34? So that means how many uh, are remaining married? So that means that the 34 is going to be our uh, M of T, or the way I have it written, if you look up here in this screen, that's going to be our A of T. So that's going to be 34 equals the initial amount, 79.4, E to the negative 0 0.0107. And remember, we're solving for T. And so T is going to remain a variable. The first step to solve for T is to get rid of the coefficient of E. So we need to divide both sides by 79.4. And I'm going to use my handy-dandy calculator for that. Let's see. 34 divided by 79.4. And I'm going to leave that effed up. I'm going to leave that a fraction. Equals E to the negative 0 0.0107 T. And then I'm going to convert to a logarithm. Bring the base down. Switch the other two around. So the fraction comes here and the exponent comes here. 0 0.0107 T. And then I need to divide both sides by the coefficient of t. And here we should have the amount of time it takes to have only 34% married adults. Here we go. Putting that into the calculator as a fraction. That's natural log of a fraction. 170 over 397. Don't forget to close your parentheses. Divided by negative 0 0.0107. Look how freaking nice that is on the class whiz. Amazing. And what do they want to round to? The nearest whole number. So that 2 is going to make that 9 stay a 9. 79 years after 1960. Remember, 1960 is the year we started counting. Now, what do they want? In which year? Okay, so it doesn't say how long. It says in which year. And that means that we're going to have to add 79 years to 1960. <laughs> One more time with the calculator here. 1960 plus 79 years, 2039. That was a long problem. I hope all of that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.